Hey, wake up, Cowpat. You gotta see this. Mr. Worldly Wise, huh? Oh, Neely. Hello. Hey, where have you been? Just over... over there. Where? Oh, there. There? Yes, and then here. Oh, there. Not chasing moths again. Fairies, huh? You'll never catch a fairy. You've been at the wine gums again, haven't you? They say in the warren they're as old as asphalt. You've been too long in that hutch. You'll never ever catch one. You spent too long in that mud volcano you call a warren. More than just moths, my girl. Too naughty full of noise for even a fairy. More like an imp. Or even a goblin. I've got an uneasy feeling about this one. Ah, what do we have here? Don't change the subject. I can smell wine gums on your breath. Wine gums! Hey, yeah, that book. Yeah, you've got to see this. Come on, I found your book. Now read me a poem. And who says that it's a poetry book, then? You said. Look, it's barely a pamphlet, so it has to be. Skinny and thin and everything. I said this. Yes. You're explaining to Gru about maps and dictionaries. Ah, dictionaries. <laughs> one day to catch one of those. Well, yes. <laughs> Certainly has all the dimensions of a poetry Read it! Can I? I probably could. Probably. You're the only thing in this entire industrial state who ever claimed it could, except for Jemima, and I could hardly ask her. Read it! Please! Mm -hmm. Reading a book is a very serious undertaking. A book even this size could take a lifetime to read. But a poem, just one, probably, on the whole, a very serious undertaking. Dictionary, map, these are sensible books of structure. You know where they are going and where they have been. But Poem is a very, very unpredictable animal. Always attempt to read the first page first. If you cannot read the first page, if it makes no sense at all, then there's every chance that it will tell you where to find the thing or things that you are looking for. Uh, oh, oh dear. No contents. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, maybe there's an index. Uh, <laughs> that's at the back, Neely. It tells you where all the things that aren't in the... Something wrong? It's not here. Are you sure this is all the book? Are you sure you're not missing some? Yeah, I reckon so. Can you read it or not? I can't read all these words. I can't read a poem if I can't find it. There are so many words in that book. They can't all be needed. The poem must be made from the best ones. Let's tear them out and we'll find it for sure. No, no, Neely. No, I, I, I really don't think that's a very good idea. No, not at all. Well, what else do you suggest, Mr. Doubt? Otherwise... Otherwise, we'll not go tearing things up. People shouldn't go about tearing things up. I, I can't condone this course of action. Let go, then! Okay.
Then which half has the poem now? It'll be all mixed up. Luckily, we've got half each. It'll be half as slow to catch it. What do poetry words look like, anyway? Pretty silly on their own. That's why they are all bunched up in poems, all hidden in half books. Next time I'll stick to pictures books, shall I? <laughs> all right. Poem words are like worms, long and wiggly in the main. They may not all be the same length, but their ends look the same. We need a bag full of smaller words, like earth, so the worms don't feel uncomfortable. Try not to look too hard, or all the worms will wiggle back into the earth. Let them see you. Let them leap out of the page, and then snatch them up! Cowpat, you made that up. Interesting. All the lighter words have floated to the top. Yeah, look. I wandered lonely as the... No, oh, no, 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 no. Attack ships on fire. Oh, oh dear, that's no good. Is it working? Oh, not exactly. Oh, oh I'll lose my poetry license for sure. Oh, dear. I'll have another go in a minute. It'll come to me yet. Will it? Oh, I just need time. A bit of time to think. Cowpad! The poem! Oh, blow! Hey, look at that! Oh, it's too late, Neely. It's gone. We'll not find another. But it's there! Look! What does it say? Oh, bye bye, Persian art. What does it say? Oh. He wandered off the bee and he. To a floral garden with beautiful trees. He laboured some point about honey and teas. How she thought the flowers nicer than trees. With a cross weevil sigh he said, if you please. But why if you fly, do you need all those knees?